post workout meal, we have something very quick and easy. It's just three chicken breasts with two, so uh, one and a half slices of cheese and a bit of ketchup in a pit of bread. So I'm gonna eat this. It looks really nice. I'll catch you much later. So a quick update, guys. Uh, the week just gone. I worked 56 hours, and I expected, well, I thought that I'd be able to get like in three 15 minute breaks again all the meals, but I actually didn't. So I kind of ate them when I came home, but not every night. And so I didn't even get in 3,000 calories all last week, so I'm down a little bit in weight. And this week I'm in 68 hours, so it'll probably be the same, and I'll probably only be able to go to the gym three days. So I'm actually gonna cook up big meals now, and I'll show you what I cook. So what I'm gonna bring in to work with me tomorrow is both of these steaks and the remainder of these sweet potato fries, which I think is about 250 grams, and one of these bars, which I picked up today, and this counts open this for a 12 year old because they're out of date in May. So that was pretty handy and they literally taste like Mars bars. Meal is done for tomorrow. So what's going on guys? I'm here today to give you six reasons why you are struggling to lose weight. Reason number one is not eating enough food. A lot of people think that by eating as little calories as possible that you're going to lose more weight but that is not the case. The case is feeding your body enough to burn as many calories throughout the day as you can because if you don't eat enough calories your body goes into starvation mode which actually slows down your metabolism in order to hold on to fats and calories because that's your body's natural instinct. Reason number two is eating more than you think you are. A lot of people think that they're eating not a lot of calories because they have no idea, they have no knowledge about what's in food, how many calories, how many carbs, fats, uh, proteins. So a good way is to just even count your macros, count your calories for one week and the way I do it is my fitness pal, you can log everything in, you just scan the barcode and it gives you all the nutritional details. So do it for a week and you'll be surprised amount of calories, you'll either be too high or too low. So find your balance through tracking your macros even for one week. Reason number three, and I can also say that I am guilty of this, is not getting enough sleep. So when you sleep, it repairs your body, it repairs your mind, and if you actually don't get enough sleep, your body the next day will not function at 100% and you will not burn as much calories as you would if you had a lot of sleep. So reason number four is not enough water intake. A lot of people don't drink enough water throughout the day and it's recommended to drink at least two liters of water. Me personally, I have two and a half liters of water to three liters of water every single day. And what water does, it brings more oxygen to your blood, which enables you to work at 100% and burn calories and fats throughout the whole day. So if you don't get enough of that, your body will also not function at 100%. Just on that topic, there's uh, a lot of apps that you can, do, that you can download and you can simply like type in uh, how many glasses of water you want to drink and it'll set a reminder every half an hour, every hour to drink a glass of water and it's a really easy and helpful way to get in your water intake through the day. Reason number five is you've hit a weight loss plateau and you don't know what is going on. You've been working your ass off and you've been trying to burn calories but for the last two or three weeks you have not dropped a single pound and this is caused by just continuously doing the same diet and same training plan for that, for like say a few months, you just hit a plateau. So the easiest way to do that is just change up your diet or change up your training. And if anyone needs any diet or training plans, uh, I'll link my Instagram, Snapchat and everything below. So just, uh, I'll actually link my email as well. So email me, Snapchat me, text me on anything and I'll give you as much help as I can and do you up any plan that you want. Last but not least is reason number six and that's just doing cardio. A lot of women especially think that they're gonna become manly and masculine by incorporating weight training into their program and that is completely not the case. Don't get me wrong, cardio is great for burning fat and burning calories, but weight training is also extremely important and trust me, it's so much more enjoyable than cardio. So if you have an increased muscle mass, it automatically equals that you have a higher metabolic rate, which means that you're burning calories naturally throughout the whole day. So incorporate weights into your program and you'll really, really enjoy it and notice the difference. So guys, that's my six reasons why you're not burning as much fat and losing as much weight as you possibly can. So I really hope that helps you and I hope you can bring this knowledge forward into your diet and training plan. And I'm going to end the video here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.